still checking in the place, still cold. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my nigga. YouTube, what's up? Transplant day for the green crack. Uh, we're gonna transplant the green crack today. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, they'll be going underneath this four cob, or citizen four cob panel to veg under. This is a 225 watt panel here. Go to Citizen CLU 04A 1212 90CRR 90CRR 90CRI Cobb. Sorry guys, a tongue twister there a little bit. But yeah, we'll be running Coco Core, the Coco Tech by General Hydroponics. I'd rinsed it twice, double rinse the Coco like I always do. But yeah, the the five green crack will be ran in the Coco Core and. This Harley Sue CBD will be ran in the Fox Farms Ocean Forest. Just a. It's gonna kind of mess with my drip schedule, but I'll just hand water the Harley Sue there, the CBD plant. So yeah, other than that, everything is going good in here. I got uh, the cover off of uh, my filter up there so I, I, I hand washed it with water because it was pretty black just doing a little garden maintenance as we go here I, the big panel will be shut down until uh, flower but I have to do some repairs to it still anyways I'm going to put a bolt in right there because the rivet broke I'm going to go ahead and patch up that wiring while I'm at it yeah, that's what's going on today, everybody. Top of that top panel here. I do veg underneath my flowering cubs too, and they do a really good job because they're the 3500K. They're pretty universal. So yeah, well, the transplanting. I gotta get this pipe out of the jam here. Sorry. So yeah, we'll be transplanting these green crack plants today from the solo cups into the one gallon pots. They've been vegging under this T5 after I transplanted them into the cocoa about, let's see, 15 days in veg underneath the T5s. Yeah, other than that, that's what's going on today, everyone. Well, I'll get right, I'll get back to you here in a few when I get set up. Okay, everybody, I think we're ready here. We'll uh, start it on this. I think adjust it around. I think here. When I transplant, I go ahead and take the container size that I'm going to use, like. Here I use the solo cup. So I take the solo cups and I put all my cocoa in first and then I get a nice little hole here. And then I take my makes everything super simple to to have it pre-organized, pre-arranged so you can do it. Oh this here is a uh, Rue Magic mycorrhize and I always use some of this when I'm transplanting every time put a good amount down in the hole there give these roots a good start I take my plant it's just they're a little bit dry because it took me a little longer today these things are needing water if uh, they wouldn't even last 24 hours, so I'll be glad to get them on this drip system. They need a transplant it. But yeah, they look pretty good. It's going to be a little bit messy, so I'm going to hold it over this way. I guess I'll hold it here so you guys can see. Just move the cup around a little. 
should slide right out. Tuck to cut. See the roots here. Pretty good roots. Started to circle the cup a little, but we just fine. Then I just drop it down in my hole there and just press around the edge a little bit here. And she is good to go. So that's one down. Get busy here and get the rest of these done. So it's this camera a little sorry everyone. Put a little micro eyes up in this one. If you wonder where I get this micro eyes, uh, I get it from, uh, I order the Blue Planet, Blue Planet nutrient packages and they include this in the kit. You can get a bigger one too. So yeah, we'll just take this. Give it a little bit of a squeeze, tap, come right out. Take it in here and drop it in. Push it in a little. Move the camera up a little, guys. There we go. Much better. Okay, that's plant two done. Let's get this one around this way and move this one over here. It's kind of stuck in there a little, wasn't it? Take another one. Same thing. Just kind of coerce it out. I'm a little bit dry. I don't like them quite this dry, but you do want it to be a little bit dry when you transplant so that your medium doesn't fall apart in your roots. Oh yeah, we almost forgot, didn't we? That happens once in a while. You forget to put your mycorrhizae in and then you're like, uh-oh. So I just usually, if that happens to me, I just stick some on the top and I water it in. Works quite well. Gonna have a mess here. Gonna have to clean it up when I'm done. I still gotta put all the drippers in. I already mixed my reservoir, 20 gallon reservoir, mixed my nutrients. Using, uh, I'll show you guys when I'm done here. It's the same nutrients that I used last cycle. Wood plant. Okay, we got another one done move them around here oh yeah I was gonna show you guys you notice I have a little bit of if you can see it cow mag deficiency there you can see it how the edges are burnt or they look burnt but they're just a little crispy they're not burnt that's the cow mag that's a cow mag deficiency I only watered these with uh, three milliliters of cow mag to a gallon of water and I normally go five milliliters of cow mag to the to the gallon so they got a little deficient on me, so I bumped that up. So yeah, that's why those are a little deficient. But it's the older leaves. If you look at the, see the newer growth? Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, if you look down before, you see that around the fringe, the edge of the leaves, how they'll get a neon appearance? They'll be a lighter green than the centers. That's generally always a cow mac deficiency. But yeah, it's a little piece of information. Get a little more of this. Just put it in there, a good fair amount. Take another one here. Coherx it. There we go. You get a little bit on the leaves down there, that's fine. You see that? It'll fall off. But yeah, you see how they just smoothly slide right down in there and you just push the soil in. Soil, medium, whatever medium you're using. This is cocoa, but as I said before. But yeah, it works well. Just push them around and actually it's a lot less shock to transplant them that way in my opinion. Now everybody, this is the way I do it. It's it's not solid stone. I'm just showing you the way I do it. What's easiest for me. So you know what? If you have a lot better ways to do it, keep doing it your way. This is just for some, some of the people that are, a little, are interested in what I do. Yeah, 
Okay, we'll take this last one here. Put a little micos in here. Mycorrhize. These roots a nice, beautiful start. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, I guess. Drop in the comments below why you don't like it. Try to improve what I'm doing for you. But yeah, definitely sub up. Subscribe. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't, I guess you can just move on. I mean, I'm, I'm all down for cons constructive criticism, though, so I'm all down. I love everybody, and I love everybody's opinions. So, yeah, that's... That's that, I believe. And as you know, uh, when you're doing stuff down here low like this, I prefer if you can do it up high on a table or something, because, man, my knees and my ankles are killing me. But yeah, that's how I transplant everybody. They're all up in the cocoa core now. Well, of course, minus that one back there, the hardly Sue in the soil. I'm gonna try to run it this way this time. I know I'm gonna have to do more work to hand water that one and mix separate nutrients and pH my water separate. Some of you don't pH for your soil, I do. I pH 6.8 for my soil. And as I stated, that's the Fox Farms Ocean Forest cut with about 30% perlite. I don't cut, this is the cocoa core, these other five. And I don't cut my cocoa core with anything. I just use plain raw cocoa core. As I stated, I use the Cocoa Tech by General Hydroponics. This is my drip system over here. I got it uh, flushing out right now. I like to flush all my lines so I have a good start. I'm gonna show you guys something too. This is the dig system here. This drip system comes with these called bug plugs they go on the end so it's not just straight flow coming out of there it's more like a, it, it creates more of a drip a drip effect so what they mainly put those on there for so you don't have any bugs crawl up in there and lay eggs inside your tubing but yeah they're pretty neat i uh i put all them back in and get all my drippers set up this cocoa here i just dump back in the tub and reuse it yeah, that's... I got all those transplanted. Get over here and show you something here, everybody. Move around here. As you can see, I still got a couple clones in here. I always run more clones than I need. Let me grab this phone down here so I can see what's going on, everybody. Make sure you're getting the view. But yeah, I always run a couple clones extra, you know, in case you have one die or you have one you don't like. I always run the best ones I can. Give them the best, healthiest start I can, you know. The, the more vigorous the growth, the better, I think. But yeah, I'll be cleaning this closet up. I'll be cleaning this closet up and uh, shutting it down the lighting and all that and save on some, some power. Cause I like to save every bit of power I can when I'm not up and flowering. See this little plant was the runt. But yeah, still a little, nice little healthy plant. And I know, uh, I gotta say it, I'm gonna kill them. But yeah, they're, they didn't make the cut, so they are going to be exterminated. I know that sounds harsh, but that's basically, you know, what I'm gonna do. But other than that, that's, that's thought I'd do this uh, transplant update for you guys, show you what's going on and how I transplant. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys what well, we'll be running: the Blue Planet High Yield System this round. I'll be running a reservoir on drip, like I said. Yeah, that's what we're going to be running this system, is my board. Here you can see I went 2 milliliters to the gallon. 
with just about everything except for the silica that was one milliliter to the gallon and then the cow mag was five milliliters to the gallon which ends up you know the, the totals end up being like the cow mag will be 100 milliliters to my 20 gallon reservoir so but other than that that's the nutrient line i'll be running this round it's like the past two rounds i believe it's the past two rounds I really love the Blue Planet. It does a good job for me. Like I said, this time I bought the gallons, so see how far they go. It's a better pr if you do buy it and you can afford it. I would go gallon route because uh, the quarts. I mean, I didn't even make it a full flowering run with a with only a 20 gallon reservoir. With uh, I ran out of bloom. And I had to substitute some different bloom, a different 054 bloom, but it worked out well with my last run. But other than that, instead of yanking on and yakking on here, I'll uh, get all this, these drip lines set up and get everything turned on and let it start watering here a little bit. Get some nutrients in here to this uh, cocoa. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you following along and all my subscribers and everything. Uh, all the support. Sorry about that. I was a brain fart. But yeah, I, I, I really appreciate all your support and everybody watching and subbing up and everything. And really appreciate all you guys and gals. Alrighty. Till next time. Peace.